is permanent jewelry or permanent bracelet, forever bracelet. And why on earth would people want something that is permanently worn? This trend has taken the market by storm. And I often get people who are amused, confused. I'm going to explain that. Permanent jewelry is basically jewelry that has no clasp, um, that is welded together closed while worn. So it's not welded to the skin. Basically, you need to close it and then weld it. Um, it was never possible before because you can't solder right against the skin. It gets very, very hot um, with a flame, flame and torch. And then people at Sunstone Engineering came up with the Orion Micro Welder. Basically, it is arc pulse welding. Um, so the electrode shoots electricity, you have a ground, and that fuses together the two pieces. So for instance, a jump ring closes it together and it's a snap like that. People ask, why would you do that? And don't you want to take it off to clean? Or um, what if you change your mind? Well, think of it this way. It is like having a tattoo. It's self-expression. It's like having a tattoo, except that it is far less painful and certainly less expensive. Uh, but it is at an elevated level of commitment to the design, to the meaning that it holds for you. So quite often um, I've seen people do this with a bunch of friends together, having the same one to commemorate an event or a club um, for an engagement. It could be mother and daughter uh, like that. In birthstone, you can do all sorts of jewelry like this. There are many chains out there you can have. Birthstones, connectors of all sorts, things that are of sentimental value. So I'm going to put more information, some of the projects I've done, in, and you can see it in the playlist. I have been making these because I'm curious. Um, I'm, I only wholesale the chains, not the machine, but I'm going to give you more information at the bottom in the captions. I wholesale chains and uh, I own the machine, uh, the micro welder, which I love, but that's a different story and I'll tell you more about that later. Um, and I was just curious as to how long does it last? And can you actually weld gold filled? And what do you do? So just to let you know, so I'm experimenting to see what happens. With respect to gold filled, I had uh, welded something on my 11 year old daughter about three months ago. And so I'm checking out to see what happens with gold filled over time because she swims, uh, she's in sailing camp all summer, she mountain bikes, lots of sunblock, um, so you name it, we're, it's a live experiment. And with my older daughter, I've done uh, sterling silver, which I know tarnishes depending on the pH level. And I'm going to put more information um, on that, but I've done, and it's been three weeks, and I'm going to be posting updates as to how it changes. Some people said because she put um, some pearls that, oh, that's going to, it's going to fade. Well, it's real pearl. It's going to fade. Um, there, there'll be problems. It's too delicate of a chain. Uh, so I just want to let you know that you should never do this 
a permanent bracelet uh, with a plated chain, a base metal chain, because it might last, the plating might last a month, maybe two months, and you, the base metal would be exposed. So you would, I would recommend sterling silver, and I'll explain more later. And I have some videos. I love sterling. I would do gold filled and solid gold. I'm going to put a card there somewhere so you can see um, more explanation as to whether or not you can weld gold filled. The idea of gold filled basically is that it is a lifelong product, lifetime product. With normal wear and tear, it would never wear down that thick layer of gold. Um, there's a hundred times the amount of gold in gold filled in any sort of plating process. So that's the idea. And so we're, I'm also going to show you what happens uh, over time. So far, it's been three months and it's great. The worry with thin chains, however, with welding, I'm gonna, and I have a video where I've welded um, thin chain together. It is solid and it is as good for the thin, thin chains. It is as good as the soldering that I normally do. And it has stood the test of time. So we'll see what happens. Someone said, oh, you gotta be careful. The spark of the welder, um, you can burn yourself. True. Anything can possibly happen with jewelry making. So with the electricity, there could be a snap. I would always say, put a, um, a piece of leather, non-flammable material to protect the, uh, the hand. Should it be the case that you are, uh, you know, you're not holding it tightly and, and something happens, it's protected. Um, I've done a whole bunch of these. I've not had any problems. So because we don't sell the machines, I only wholesale chains and we wholesale chains to a lot of stores and people who weld permanent bracelets. I have um, gotten a lot of feedback. The youngest person, customer, that uh, someone has welded a bracelet on is three years old. I weld for my kids, it's not a problem. I would suggest have the parents be there, give consent. And also, I have done anklet, um, a ring, ring with, with a bracelet contraption, waist chain, um, but you know, that you're kind of limited with having a big meal. <laughs> Um, with a necklace, that, a removable necklace. There's so many possibilities of what you can do. When it is time either for it to be taken down because you set a certain date and you've all agreed you're gonna take it, cut it down, you can certainly weld a clasp to it. And when the time comes, it is very, very easy to do. It would not be wasted. Um, certainly there are fun things you could do. For instance, I'm going to wear this bracelet until I reach a certain goal. And when I do that, it's going to be a celebration where I cut that. So I've done a whole bunch of videos and I hope to continue, uh, putting them up. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you, if there are any sort of projects that you would like to see done, let me know. And I will try making it and filming it.